I'm pleased at this time to be joined by someone who has really burst on the scene on TMA in 2022 with his phone calls. He is joining a prestigious group of only six people that have multiple nominations for the TMA End of the Year Awards. My guess at this time is Caller Buzz. Buzz, thanks for joining me. Hi KG, thanks for having me on today. I'm really excited for the End of the Year Awards. I'm honored to be nominated uh, for two uh, of those awards and being an elite company. Um, hearing you say that really uh, just makes the work all worth it. So happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Now, as I said, Caller Buzz, you're up for Caller of the Year in the 2022 TMA End of the Year Awards. You've got some heavy competition in that category. You've got the great Stephen Wildwood. You've got another newcomer, Mr. Licks. You've got the throwaway candidate, Caller Adam. You've made it very clear that you're not a fan of Mr. Licks. What is it about Mr. Licks that rubs you the wrong way? Uh, yeah, there's some definitely big competition this year uh, for Caller of the Year. Uh, we, some, we have some household names, uh, Stephen Wildwood. Caller Adam, two guys I've, I've grown up listening to, uh, kind of try to mimic my game with the smoothness of uh, Stephen, Stephen Wildwood and then uh, a little bit of that flair, that, um, that spark that Adam brings. It's, uh, it's, it's fun to watch how, how they compete. Um, yeah, Lix is someone I don't respect. Um, I don't think I ever will respect. He's just not, he doesn't do it the right way. Um, he's the kind of guy that, you know, flunked out a little miss. He's the kind of guy that uh, we'll talk to you about his bourbon collection. We'll explain his crypto portfolio um, and talk about, you know, a sales conference he was flown to, uh, to Columbus, Ohio, and brag about that. And those are just guys that I don't have time for and um, I don't really um, acknowledge. So, um, you know, he does it one way. We do it another way around here. So, yeah, not much nice to say about Licks. And, uh, but excited to be with the other two contestants and um, expect a good, a good fight for that Caller of the Year award. Now, Caller Bose, correct me if I'm wrong, because like Plowsy, I tend to do some show prep out in the CRV, but I remember you calling in, it may have been your first call, with a story that involved the Truman the Tiger costume. Am I correct about that? And if so, can you tell us a little bit about that story that really burst you onto the scene in TMA? Uh, yeah, okay. first off, that's back to prep game. Second off, that is correct. Uh, first time I called in was when the guys were discussing uh, they weren't training, but they did have their questions, and I wanted to call in and see if I fell into that category as a furry because uh, at Mizzou, I was the truest of sons. I was Truman the Tiger, and a girl knowing that asked if I would put the head on um, during Cordis, and the gamesman that I am, you know, I suited up and performed, and in that moment, I was half tiger, half man, and truly never more powerful. Buzz, you're... Not very controversial, I wouldn't say, but you do have some of your detractors. Uh, when you called in on Friday, uh, Tim read some texts that clearly were not a fan of yours, and I'd like to get your thoughts on them. Um, I shaved my balls for this, uh, said hop into a buzzsaw crotch first, um, and the 314 said take a tubby with a toaster, you stuttering weirdo. What do you have to say to the people out there that are not Caller Buzz fans? Unfortunately, that's just part of it. When you experience some uh, success, uh, you kind of come on the scene fast. Uh, there's going to be some hate, especially when you're not a household name like Stephen Wildwood or Caller Adam. Uh, you're going to be asked to jump off cliffs. You're going to be asked to take the acid toasters. And you just got to trust your game and continue to you know, push through. Uh, my advice to all the little buzzes out there that would uh, that dream of being nominated for two awards in 2023 is uh, to not let the haters get you down. Um, Especially the area codes, uh, especially the no names. Uh, but when a Hall of Famer uh, type like uh, Carlos Spicy winner critiques you, uh, take notes, uh, watch game film, and just try to continue to get better. Uh, so no, I will not be asking for any support uh, from those toads, but I will uh, use that as fuel to continue to uh, burst onto the scene and continue uh, the success into the next year. Caller Buzz, I wish you the best of luck in both of your categories, Caller of the Year and Rookie of the Year. We hope to see you on Thursday night at Harpo's in Chesterfield for the TMA End of the Year Awards. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me on today, KG. It's been fun talking with you. I will be there on Thursday. I'm looking forward to meeting everyone uh, for my first live show. I'm looking forward to taking home some hardware, hopefully. I'm really looking forward to the dumpster. I'm hoping to get at least two to three, maybe four slots. I'm sleeping in separate bedrooms as my wife this week in preparation, just so I'm ready for Tim. Um, and it's going to be a great night. Hope everyone can come out and uh, vote for Buzz. Thank you.